Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Junior here and welcome back to my double girlfriend. If I remember correctly, I think this is where I got Carmilla's ending. I have to remember a lot of the stuff that I play when I play these kinds of games. Let's resume. Episode 19, it is. Okay, good. Oh no! Elizabeth lifts the artifact into the air again. No, I won't let you. She lunged forward at the other devil, but Elizabeth just laughed and invisible force knocks Carmilla back. Ah, uh, Carmilla, are you all right? As much as we want to secure your loyalty, I will obliterate you if necessary. You call us traitors, but you're pretty calm about striking down your own kind. Did you honestly expect the devil to have sympathy for traitors? As she speaks, Nikki sneaks around behind her. I don't know what she's planning, but maybe stealth will succeed where direct attacks fail. I've got to distract Elizabeth somehow. If I can just keep her talking long enough. Elizabeth, have you thought about what you're doing? Excuse me. I understand Carmilla's motives, but I can't figure out yours. What is, what's in this for you? I am loyal to our cause. Do you really want to be? Or have you just been brainwashed into believing you do? By the way, if you guys notice, it's because last episode I was tired. Not of this game, but like the last game I uploaded, I was dead tired, which is why I was talking like this. I was dead tired. Do you really want to be or have you just been brainwashed into believing you do? She scowls and suddenly I find myself rising into the air. It is as if an invisible hand has seized me. Question me again, fool, and I will destroy you right now. She drops me and the impact of my landing makes me ga gasp in pain. <gasps> Nikki has just about reached her. Come on, just a little further. However, just as Nikki nears, draws near, she's flung backwards. She crashes into one of the desks, which topples and and takes down the desk beside it. Nikki, you really think tricks like that will work on me? I've had about enough of you. She lifts her hands and closes her eyes. A moment later, her eyes open and she takes a step back what have you done to my powers you want to be human so badly then enjoy a human weakness in your final moments of freedom why you elizabeth snorts and turns her attention to the artifact again is this the end what can we do she only gets one shot at using it right even if we don't get it back messing up elizabeth's attempt would still help distract her with nonsense she has to make her wish in clear terms so if i could just confuse her and have her say something nonsensical it might stop her plan one two buckle my shoe what junior this what narrows her eyes in con concentration one bright day in the middle of the night i know what you're trying to do and it won't work i practiced for this day now behold your doom she whispers something, artifact clutched tightly in her hands. Oh no. Take a deep breath and prepare to charge at her. Throw my books, anything. Then, ow, actually it is blinding. And then blinding light fills the room. Flashbang! <laughs> what is this? Is this Elizabeth's doing or? Ah! Be gone! He made it! Elizabeth screams again and there is... A clinking sound as the artifact hits the floor. When the light fades, Elizabeth is gone and Michael stands by the window. Windy! I hope all of you are well. You sure took your sweet time coming here. Excuse me. I prepared as quickly as I could. I apologize. Don't apologize to me, you stupid annoying angel. Is Elizabeth dead? Is she dead? Possibly given her strength, though, it's unlikely. What? All that light and she still might not be dead? She has at least been banished, though. She won't be able to trouble anyone for a long, long time. I guess that's good enough, then. Man, I thought we were goners. Carmela says nothing, just walks to the spot where Elizabeth was standing and picks up the artifact, and she stares at it. Suddenly, the classroom door opens. What in the world is going on here? Uh-oh. Um, it was Elizabeth. She... Who? Uh... Michael meets my gaze and shakes his head. He lifts a finger to his lips. 
Look at what the five of you did to this classroom. I can't believe this. I expected better of you, especially you, Michael. I apologize. It will never happen again. You're staying for detention today, all five of you. Wait, five? One? Oh, myself, Michael, and the other girls. I had to count. I was like, uh, what? The day passes without incident. Even Nikki attends all of her classes for a change. Soon, we're together in detention. You gotta turn this down because copyright reasons. I don't care. <laughs> you know, going to school isn't so bad in comparison to other stuff. I mean, shh, do you want to get in trouble? We're supposed to be quiet. Wait, I thought you always used your power so no one could hear us. That face. Not today. I considered leaving, but I don't think I will. This quite, this quiet monotony is pleasant change of peace pace it's nice <laughs> it's nice who would uh, who would ever thought i'd say that about detention of all things we don't have to worry about anyone trying to kill us or about our free will being removed or about our free will being removed I guess when you come so close to losing everything, it really makes you appreciate it more. Junior! Ah, sorry. If you don't have something to work on, I'll find something for you. No, I'm fine. I won't talk. Good. And so, the rest of the detention period passes in silence. It's a comfortable silence, though. I guess we all feel lucky to be alive. And for Lily, Nikki, and Carmilla... This mundane piece is something they'll never be able to have in their own world. Although the others at least pretend to do homework, Carmilla spends the entire time staring at the artifact instead. Once the detention period is over, Michael leaves right away and Lily and Nikki return to their hotel. Carmilla continues to examine the artifact. Where are you going to use it? When are you going to use it? Tomorrow. I wait. I have to be careful with this. I won't get a second chance if I make a mistake. That's true. I thought you wanted was pretty straightforward, though. So did I. Carmilla? I just want to take one last day here to think everything over. I guess it's not so easy to just irrevocably change your nature, even if it's what you want. Junior, would you have dinner with me this evening? If not, I understand. But I'd like to reminisce with you about everything that's happened. Sure, I'd love to. Mm -mm. Sure, I'm glad. Strange to imagine those first few days when she wanted nothing to do with me. I would have her believed it would end up like this. Where should we go? Anywhere you like. I know of a good restaurant. We should. I know of a good restaurant. We should be able to talk there in peace. All right. Here it comes. Just kidding. As we walk into the restaurant, by the way, that was a reference to an episode of Family Guy. And are seated at a fancy table. I can't help but think that this feels like a date. But it isn't a date, is it? It's hard to believe that this could be my last evening in the human world. Tomorrow, I could be with the angels in a new life. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Junior, will you be able to visit? Yes, of course. I probably shouldn't spend my entire time here, though. I guess that would defeat the purpose. But it will definitely be nice to come back and see you again. Despite claiming this is what she wants, she sounds a little sad. Is something wrong? Well, I keep thinking about Lily and Nikki. They're running out of time. Yeah. We were never friends before, but now that I've gotten to know them, I like them. I don't want them to go back to suffering. Neither do I. That makes my decision feel worse. I'm going to change my own life and become an angel, but the two of them will be stuck as devils. Can't you use the artifact to help them, too? My understandings of it... The artifact allows you to change one single fact. 
of the universe. Right. Restoring my angelic form is one choice. Freeing them from their bonds is another. Oh. It would be possible if I turned all three of us into angels, but I think Lily would object to that. Yeah, she might. Although, considering the alternative, maybe it's a, it's a possibility. I could ask her about it. I think we both know her answer. Though, even if she warmed up to Michael a little, Lily has been ad adamant, adamant that she doesn't share Carmilla's aspiration. Nikki is tough to read. It could make her happy or it can make her miserable. There is no answer here. Silence falls over our table. Now Carmilla sighs and shakes her head. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for the conversation to go in that direction. It's all right. I wanted to reminisce our time together since the school year began. Has been interesting to say the least. That's one word for it. Haha. <laughs> Aside from the times when we were in danger, however, it wasn't all bad. Yeah, I'm glad I met you. Me too. She leans in closer across the table, but then she lifts her head to stop, hand to stop me. Then she touches my cheek and runs her hand down my face. Not now, Junior. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Once I'm an angel. We'll meet again. Then you can tell me what your feelings truly are. Carmilla. For now, let's just talk about the good times we've had. Alright. Our food arrives, and we spend dinner discussing everything that happened. It's a pleasant, happy conversation that helps ease the burden of the past few weeks. Not right now. I'm, uh, I'm recording. No. Not right now. Not right now. I'm recording. So come see me in like 20, 20 30 minutes. Sorry about that, guys. I spend the rest of the evening alone. I'm grateful to have some time. You have a text message. Oh. New! No! Okay, whatever. I spend the rest of the evening alone, grateful to have some time to myself where I don't have to worry about cosmic problems or devils trying to kill me. Still, life without those three sure will feel weird. Dangerous, though, it was I... Wait, dangerous. Though it was I. Dangerous though it was, I wouldn't change what happened for anything in the world. Now that things have calmed down, we agreed to get together one last time just to relax and enjoy ourselves before Carmela uses the artifact. Even Michael agrees to come. Where are we going anyway? We're supposed to meet up at Lily and Nikki's hotel and then decide from there if we want to do anything else. Are they waiting for us there? Yes, I think so. Then let us be off. We have a celebration to attend. Celebration? What are we celebrating? You becoming an angel. What? Come, after all, the time we spent trying to aid you in your quest, don't you think a celebration is required? I guess, but wouldn't it be better to wait until I actually use the artifact, then? I guess it's partly a farewell party for you two. Huh? Come to think of it, do Lily and Nikki know we're expecting a party? Nikki does. Nikki strikes me as sort of a person who would always be prepared for a party. Yeah, haha, <laughs> I guess she is. Let's head to the hotel then. Boing! Finally, you're here. Are we late? No, but I could really use your help. Oh no, what's wrong this time? Don't tell me someone else is trying to stop us. Huh? Oh no, it's nothing like that. It's just... She steps back to let us into the room and waves helplessly at the bed where Lily lifts her arms folded. Someone help me deal with the killjoy here. Lily? Go on, have your stupid party without me. Just pretend I'm not here. Pretend I'm a piece of furniture. Go on, laugh it up. Yikes, she's definitely in a bad mood. It won't be a party without you. It won't be a party without you. Ha! I'm serious, we're a team. Ugh. Come on, Lily, we want you to celebrate with us. You people all want to party like we have a reason to be happy right now don't we you and carmilla do and i guess junior does and nikki doesn't care as long as she gets snacks 
Ouch, way to sell me short. What do I have to celebrate? Nothing. Or have none of you looked at the calendar? The calendar, oh no. We spent a whole week waiting for enough firepower to take down Elizabeth. A week is pretty important when you only have a month. How many days has it been? I try to count the days that have passed since the first day of school. They add up to an unfortunate conclusion. You get it now? We're almost out of time. Nikki and I will be forced to leave the human world and you'll never see us again. And it's going to happen soon. Carmela has found her salvation, but what about the others? Lily and Nikki are doomed to return to their world. Their own world. Will Junior fall in love with them? Can both of them be saved? Find out in the next chapter. Continue on. Episode 20, the final episode. Is that close? It's that close already? Yes. She looks distraught, with good reason, and does she blame me for this? I've spent so long with all three of them. Will anything happen in all the chaos with Elizabeth? I barely had a chance to consider my own. Wait, if they could change one fact... Like, that they're all demons. I know, like, Car oh, because Carmilla wants to be an angel. I was going to say, can't she just use the thing where they all don't have to return to the demon world? They could stay up on Earth? Maybe. I barely had a chance to consider my own feelings. And even if I've fallen in love with one of them, it isn't enough. I can't stand to be in the same room as them while I think about all of this. Excuse me, I need a little fresh air. I'll be back. Before anyone can protest, I hurry away. Run! <laughs> uh, even here, I can't focus. Maybe if I found somewhere quiet to think everything over. It's no use. Even with the peace and quiet, I can't think about anything except on how unfair the situation is. Isn't there anything I can do? Junior? Huh, Michael? You followed me here? I apologize. Is something wrong? I was worried about you. You looked distressed when you left the room. Is it because of what Lily said? I don't want them to leave. I want them to leave. That's understandable. To tell the truth, I'll be sorry to see them go as well. It's not just that. They're my friends. But that if Lily and Nikki go back to their world, they'll be suffering. Yes, after all they've done, it is unfair. I would just wish I could do more. More? If a human falls in love with a devil, the devil can stay in this world. All this time, Lily has been hoping I'd fall in love with her. She can't be angry with you for following your heart. I hate this whole situation. They haven't interacted with the, with other people, so it's all on me. If, uh, if I fall in love with Lily, Nikki is doomed, and vice versa. If I love Carmilla, they both have to leave. Interesting. I notice you haven't considered the possibility of not being in love with any of them. I'm falling in love. I have been for a while now. That almost makes it worse. Because you'll feel like it's your fault when not everyone is saved. Yeah. Truly wish I could help. Alas, only Carmilla's artifact has the power to change something like this. But Lily doesn't want to be an angel, and Carmilla does. There's no way around it. At least you can be the one you love. Be with the one you love. Yeah, that helps a lot. After all we've been through... PlayStation, shut up. Together. At least it isn't the end of the... At least it isn't the end. We'll still see each other every day. Be together as much as we want. The clear chiming of a distant bell makes me jump. Huh? I never heard anything like that around here before. Michael also lifts his head, but the rest of the people in a park carry on with their business as if they don't hear the bells at all. What is that sound? The sound of the universe shifting. What? The unchangeable has changed. You've acknowledged your true feelings and found your true love among one of the three, allowing her to stay in the human world if she so chooses. I guess I finally did. Just then, I was confused by, for a while, but now I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that I've fallen in love with Carmilla. Sorry, Lily, you're last. 
My feelings are still the same as they were at the beginning of the year. I was attract uh, attracted to Carmilla when I first saw her, and now I've fallen in love. I can't keep denying it. I hope this doesn't mess anything up for her. What? Sorry, I have to get back to the hotel. I can barely focus on anything as I run back to the hotel and straight to the room where I left the others. I'm sure she can still use the artifact. That can't have ruined her plan. Huh? The hotel room is mostly empty. Only Carmilla remains. She sits on the edge of the bed, staring out the window. Junior, did you see Lily and Nikki? No, I thought they'd be here. They both left when it happened. I'm sorry. She stands and turns to face me with a frown. What? Why are you apologizing? What? <laughs> I couldn't save either of them because I know what happens, I'm pretty sure. Save them. If I'd fallen in love with one of them, we could have stayed in this world. She could have stayed in this world. I'd feel bad about the other, but at least one of them would be all right. Are you feeling all right? I know I shouldn't blame myself. I can't help myself, but I just feel so guilty. Wait, you don't know what happened, do you? What do you mean? I used the artifact to make sure all three of us could stay in this world. What? But that means... I won't become an angel. I've used the artifact power and there's no second chance. It's gone forever. She sacrificed her own dream. If I wanted to help them, it had to be something that would affect all three of us at once. And since they didn't want to be angels, this was the only choice. Are you happy with your decision? What can I say? It isn't what I wanted. I came here with one goal in mind, become an angel. I never cared to live in this world as a human. But you chose that for, uh, anyways, for their sake. Yes. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? Because you helped them. Now they don't have to leave. You'd miss them that much? They're my friends. In that case, I'm glad I was able to help you save your friends. I'm happy you'll be here, too. Even if it's not what you wanted, I hope you won't be too disappointed. I'll get used to it, and at least I have friends. Friends? Just friends? Wait, in all the confusion here, I forgot to tell her. Carmela, I, um, yes? I've been thinking about things, and I love you. You what? I love you. After all this time, you still chose me. That's how I feel. I realize... It a little bit ago when I was outside, so I rushed back here to let you know. So that's why you were so upset over Lily and Nikki? Yeah. I wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been your fault, even if I didn't save them. You can't control your heart. I know, but it still didn't feel right. You're right, it wasn't fair. That's why I made my decision. She hasn't reacted much at all to my confession. Is that a bad sign, or is she just waiting for me to do something more? I'm asking! Move in for the brave one! <laughs> what? Oh, yes, you may. <gasps> do it! I cautiously approach Carmilla and lean forward for a light kiss. To my surprise, she wraps her arms around me and returns my kiss with more ador ardor than I expected. How was that? That was good. That's better than good. It was amazing. And surprising since she still hasn't reacted to my confession in any direct way. Forgive me if I do anything unusual. I'm not used to this. Oh? You wouldn't expect it from an age-old devil. But this is the first time I've really been involved with someone. Ooh. We're involved? Then, I mean, you've... You're interested in being a couple. Yes, if you are. I let out a long breath. <sighs> yes, of course. Ow, my head. I hit it. Oh, is she interested? At she's a little, she's a little, 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 so she is interested after all. Now, it may. It seems my party has been thoroughly canceled. 
Oh no, I forgot. That's right, we were going to celebrate Carmilla becoming an angel along with the defeat of Elizabeth. But then Lily brought up the deadline and... It's alright, Lily and Nikki are off celebrating in their own way, so we should do the same. Which you have in mind. I'm still new here, around here. Since I'll be living here, it's about time I see more than school, the library, and a few other places. You want to tour the town? Yes, that sounds quite nice. Only if you're interested, of course. Sure! I've never given someone a tour before. I've also never walked down the street holding a girl's hand before. But here we are. It's strange that everything... It's strange that everything... After everything that happened. One sec, guys. Sorry, I was just checking because my... There we go. My, my uh, thing here tends to fall off. <laughs> I've also never walked... At the... Okay, wait. Girl's hand before. Here we are. It's strange that after everything that happened, this almost feels the most usual. Unusual. Ugh. So this is the main shopping area. You'll find all sorts of stores here. Food, clothing, no novelty gifts, all sorts of things. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that, Junior. Look at that, Junior. She points towards a store window where a little angel figurine and a devil figurine stand back to back. <laughs> eh, game, respond, hello. Very timely, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> it is. I wonder if she sees it as a representation of our alliance with Michael or of her own dual nature. This is this really is a lovely town. Living here won't be so bad at all. Especially if I'm with you. Oh. I'm glad. Ah, and here's a bookstore. <laughs> As she admires the bookstore, I glance back towards the figurines. She seems so interested in this. It would be nice to get it for her as a gift. I quickly enter the store and buy the angel and devil. The package is small, enough that I can hide it in my coat. I'll surprise her with it sometime. I quickly rejoin Carmilla. What happened to you? Sorry, I thought I saw someone I knew, but I was wrong. Oh, I see. Is there anything else you want to see? Well, I do have one concern. What's that? Now that I no longer have my powers, I'll need to find a place to stay. Lily and Nikki offered to share their hotel room, but none of us will be able to stay there much longer. Oh, right, they'll have to get money through normal means now. How do people procure lodgings in this town? Um, well, there are houses for sale, but you'd have to have enough money. There are also apartments you can rent. Am I going to have to get a job blah, 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 since you'll be supporting yourself? I guess so, yeah. Hmm. I'll need to make a more solid past history of for myself. As well, the artifact could only handle so much. You use the artifact to help? Part of the change involved making sure we exist as far as the world is concerned. There are records of our birth now. Ooh, like they were actually born in the world. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Yes, but it's just the start. It will be a lot of work. I'm sorry. Ha ha ha. There's no need to apologize. I don't mind doing it, especially since we can be together. She reaches out and clasps my hands in hers. I'm ready to go back to the hotel for tonight. Junior, do you wish to accompany me? Yes. <laughs> Why would I say no to that? Or why should I go home? Yes. Wonderful. I'm glad to know our evening together isn't over just yet. The hotel room is still empty when we get back. Seems like we'll have some time to ourselves. Hmm, Lily and Nikki should be back eventually. But until then, it's just us. Why don't you latch the door so we'll be at least have some warning? All right. I pull the latch across the door. It feels a little wrong since it's their room, but having privacy does sound like a good idea. When I turn around, Carmilla is standing an inch away from me. Oh, hi. Does let me know if I do anything wrong? Ooh. 
Then she kisses me. Her arms, <laughs> her arms wrap around me and she pulls me towards her. It's a long, passionate kiss. We break away. I'm, breath I'm breathless. I don't think you need to worry about getting it wrong. <laughs> she steps back and beckons me towards her. I take off my coat. Ooh. I have something for you. Is that an innuendo? No. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I have a gift for you. Pull out a package and hand it to her. When she opens it, uh, her eyes lighten up. Thank you so much, Junior. This really means a lot to me. I'm glad. She sets it down on the closest bedside table. Let's celebrate our many victories properly. That sounds good to me. She sits down on the edge of the bed and I join her. Within seconds, we're kissing again. Yay! <laughs> For someone who has little experience, you're quite good. I am me. I mean, I am. Ha <laughs> ha. You're not half bad yourself. I've read a lot of books. The statement startles me enough that I lift my head to stare at her. You've read books about this? Yes, a few came up during my research by mistake. Most were clinical. Oh, God. I believe one of us should be saying that in a different context, Junior. You mean... In response, she starts to undress. Ooh, I may need to pause. I help her and trail kisses across her soft skin. Tell me, Junior, is this as good as you imagined when you saw me that first day of school? Better. I'm glad I could outdo your imagination. Did you ever think we'd end up like this? Not a chance. Haha, <laughs> I didn't think so. You didn't want to even talk to me back then. Now I know better. She cups my face in her hands and kisses me again. Yee, somebody kisses! <laughs> As we kiss, the world begins to fade into a haze. Nothing exists except for the two of us. And then a sudden sharp knocking at the door wrenches us from our private world. Come on, who locked the door? Why won't the key work? Perhaps we should speak with someone at the desk. That's the last thing we need. The cleaning staff busting down the door. He begins to get dressed as calmly as, sh as though she isn't embarrassed at all. We must have latched the door by mistake. Don't worry, we're on our way. We exchange helpless looks. Don't worry, Junior, I'll get a place of my own. Then we'll have privacy. I'm counting on it. We draw close for our one, one fist of the evening. As our lips touch, I think about everything that brought us dangerous though it was. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. <laughs> Yay! Please, 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 give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> what was that sound? I don't know. Oh, oh no! But then the next ending is going to be the last one for this game. Like a bunch of the other games I'm playing, I'm already on a bunch of second endings. Pretty sure every game I've played in the past is on its second ending. Oh, I'm telling you guys, I downloaded most of the FNAF games. I hope they work properly, though. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want more things like games, reaction videos, vlogs, challenges, and PlayStation 4 videos. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure it is gray, not red, because if it's red, you're missing out on my content. And how you know you subscribed is to see a big old bell icon appear next to my channel logo or name. Hit that, and you will get notified when I upload. And I will see you dudes and dooders in the next video. Or to the rate that above our war. Load. Thank you. Wah,